Hello everyone, and this might look familiar. It's yet again time for another Funko unboxing. And I'm going to say it here, this is probably the biggest unboxing yet. I know I said that in one of my previous unboxings, but that was five pops. Here, I got seven. And that's because I had a lot of Christmas money. I was doing some Christmas shopping. Some of these you might call 2019 pops and not 2020, but some were released like early, early 2020. But I think I still consider them 2019. So some last minute finds. These all I got on like discount or let me say most of these I got on discount, but I'll say where I got each pop from. So um, let's get into the unboxing. I'll start off with the pops that I got at Hot Topic. I got two commons and an exclusive because they had one of those 3 for 27 deals. So the first one I got was Pusheen, is that how you put it, call it? Pusheen the Cat with Pizza. And they've made a lot of Pusheen pops and he's the cute little meme cat and I've always wanted a Pusheen pop because I thought it was so cute and with the dotted eyes it just works as a pop and there were a lot of different Pusheens like I wanted the regular one where he's waving or if she's waving but uh, I was kind of holding off on that one so I'm kind of late but seeing this new one with holding the pizza I thought it was really cute and since Hot Topic had a 9 for 27 now is a good time to get this pop at a pretty good price. I think $9 is pretty good. So let's open this one up. Here we have our Pusheen holding the pizza. He's, he or she is winking. It's got a painted on mouth. The whiskers look pretty good. I'm not a fan of the kind of gray dot on the side. I mean, it's not that bothersome, but it's like they kind of glued on the whiskers. And then uh, it's a cute little feet. It's like circle bottom. I think that's for air. The tail. Yeah, I just think Pusheen is really adorable. And if I ever wanted one, now is my time. And yeah, super adorable. And I'm really glad I got this one for a really good price. The next common pop I got at Hot Topic was... Bill Nye, um, me, I'm one of those kids who watched Bill Nye the Science Guy all the time at school, and I thought it was a pretty goofy, cool show, and um, if you can look at the back, this is him currently, he's still doing stuff, and I think he's just a pretty cool guy, so I was like, I have to get Bill Nye, because I'm really liking this icons line because I'm I really like getting pops based on real people like I own Alfred Hitchcock and Ellen DeGeneres and all that stuff so nice that I have Bill Nye now because of my I wouldn't say impact but just seeing him through my childhood but anyway let's open this one up the one issue I had with this pop it's not it's with the hair. Like, I thought the hair was way too high. It looks kind of like a a wig. Like, I knew on the back of the box, his hair's kind of high. But I just still thought it was kind of weird. It's like, your hair kind of looks like a wig. But aside from that, I like... I just like this pop. I like the beaker of whatever this blue stuff is. And kind of rubbing it, it is painted blue. Like, they didn't just take something and fill it. It's literally painted blue. Like, it'd kind of be like the Killing Joke pop with the uh, glass in his hand. Like, that looked like it had a filling here. It's just painted. Like, look at that. Like, Funko could say that that line is, like, shaking. But uh, aside from that, I do like this pop. The way he looks, it's just... First, I was weird. I was kind of weirded out by the hair, but... No, I, I just like really like Bill Nye, and I'm glad that I got him again for a pretty good price. But the one that I was really excited to get was the Hot Topic Human 
Human Torch. I guess you could say the non-flaming Human Torch, but here he's got flames on his hands and legs. His hands are on fire, like he's about to transform. Uh, I think the Fantastic Four line is really cool. They like they're like really well designed and. This is the first Fantastic Four pop in this video, and it certainly isn't the last. But I'll say this was the one I was most excited for, because I just think the flames on his hands and legs are really cool, like he's about to transform. So let's open this one up. Oh yeah, just to mention, um, with the Fantastic Four pops, they come with a little Fantastic Four background board, so that's cool. Okay, um, yeah, I really like this pop. Um, my first, my, I think my only issue with the pop was I wish the flames weren't so light. Like, I could imagine the flames looking a little darker. Like, to me, this is just too bright. But aside from that, I love this pop. I like how, um, Johnny Storm looks. That's his name, right? Johnny Storm. But, uh, the flames, um... Aside from, like, the uh, legs and arms looking like a doll and connecting, the paint job is pretty well with how it kind of fades in, especially with the legs. So, yeah, so happy I could get this pop because I really wanted this one. And Fantastic Four has a ginormous line, but this was the one I wanted the most. And so glad that my Hot Topic still had some more. So, yeah, so glad to have this awesome Fantastic Four one in my collection now. And with that said, we will move on to the ones I got at GameStop. And continuing with the line of Fantastic Four, I also got the common Human Torch. Because, um, like I said, a lot of Fantastic Four pops that came out. And while it was the Hot Topic Human Torch I wanted the most... After looking at this Human Torch, I'm like, okay, this Human Torch looks really cool. Like, I wasn't really a fan of the first appearance Human Torch. I just wasn't a fan of the no-face look and the pose was alright. But here, the pose, is the pose is much better. I like the eyes. And yeah, this was just a better Human Torch common than the first appearance one. So let's open this one up. It's got a fire base, which is really cool. And once again, not a fan of how bright the fire is. I just wish the fire was a bit darker. But to be fair, the fire looks amazing. I like how it's kind of clear. So you can kind of see inside the head. Yeah, I like how it's clear and not just a painted color. I think it just makes the fire look so much better and then the lines are all right some may say it looks lazy but i think not only do the uh eyes and the body pose make up for it i think it just turns it into a really awesome looking pop so yeah we got exclusive human torch and the common human torch and i think they're a perfect duo to get so if you got a hot topic near you Look for both. You won't regret it. And the other one that I got from GameStop is one that I've been looking for for a long time. If you saw my top 20 Funko Pops of the year, I said that I was having a really hard time trying to find this one at a store. But I finally got it, and that's the Smart Hulk, or the Endgame Hulk, with the glasses and the taco in his hand. And... It's kind of a mix of two scenes. Um, the Hulk here is how he looks in the diner. But when he's given Ant-Man the tacos in the movie, he doesn't have his glasses and his jacket is zipped up. But discluding those, I think I prefer this pop. It kind of, it saves giving two pops. Just one where it's without the tacos and then it's one with the tacos but no glasses and a zipped up jacket. So... I think instead of double dipping, I think this was a better move for Funko. Like, they double dipped with Captain America, 
The rest look pretty all right. I think Thor's really bad, this one, because it's not at all accurate. But with that out of the way, I do think this Hulk is more perfect because I just love Smart Hulk and how he looks. He was really funny in the movie. So after months of waiting and searching, let's open this one up. So here we have it, and um, I know most people, mostly everyone's like upset. They're like, why isn't Hulk six inches instead of the normal three and three-fourths inch? But I, I don't mind it so much. Like, I know it's kind of annoying, but I really like how this pup looks. Um, they do make him try to look at least bigger than the other three and three-fourths pops like he looks taller he's certainly thicker and a bit heavier but i think that works out for funko in the end um kind of like the faded paint and it's not a solid color with his hair um i love how the glasses aren't painted on and it's really glass there's something there or plastic you can kind of see the eyes through there and really like the tacos and the way he holds it because that's how he holds it in the movie with like some of his fingers out and yeah so glad that I have this pop because it was one of my favorites of 2019 and it just looks so good to have him now and glad that I don't have to search for it anymore because like I said I couldn't find this thing anywhere until really recently so yes a really good day for this or a really good hunting day to find this pop. Next, um, at my local mall, I didn't realize they had a Go Calendars open there. Like, I've been to Go Calendars before, but I've never seen this one before. And I went in, and they had a 50% off sale, which was amazing. Like, they didn't have any exclusives, but it was a good way to get a common for cheap. And after months of thinking of getting it, I finally have it with me, and that's... Josh Baskin from the movie Big. This was basically one of Tom Hanks' first big hits. I mean, this was before Forrest Gump, uh, Philadelphia, and all that stuff. So this was like one of Tom Hanks' first big hits. And I really like this movie. It's a cute movie. And then, of course, I just really like Tom Hanks. He's one of my favorite actors. And... After getting that Forrest Gump pop, I really wanted another one. And here, it's him from that iconic scene where he's playing on the piano where you step on the keys. And I just think it looks really cool. So glad to get this for a good price. So let's open this one up. Okay, this pop is really awesome. So like... Of course, some of you are like, why would he be on a stand? It works because you can see his legs are spread out. What's awesome is they make the keys light up where his feet are. Really small, de really small detail, but good job on you, Funko. His arms are like that. He's got the outfit, the hair. Really, really like this pop. And sad I didn't add this on my favorite pops of the year list because it would be at the very least an honorable mention because of the detail and the accuracy to the scene so this pop is really perfect i might like the force gump pop more in terms of tom hanks but i do not regret wanting to get this one it's so amazing with how accurate it is and it just looks really really good so i'm so glad to have this one now and finally, I saved what I call the luckiest for last. This one I got at Barnes & Noble, and I got this the day they were released, and when I went, there was only one left, so I feel really happy to have it. Like, they could restock, but it gives you a good feeling when there's only one and you're the one that takes it, and that one was... The Barnes & Noble exclusive, The Thing. Again, I got a lot of Fantastic Four ones, but Human Torch wasn't the only one. 
So I have the thing, and it's in his disguise outfit, so he's got the trench coat and hat. And, yeah, Fantastic Four might be one of my favorite Marvel lines now. Like, I do like the X-Men line, and some of the Marvel movie lines are pretty cool, but I just love the design of each of the Fantastic Four characters, like Human Torch, Silver Surfer, Galactus. It's just really cool, and seeing how the only Fantastic Four pop we got was The Thing. Now, now it looks even better when you make The Thing eight, nine years later. So, And you could see there's some box damage with this one I got. I was literally looking around the store to see if there was a better one, but this was the only one I could find. So I just feel really happy to get this last one at my local Barnes & Noble. So let's open this one up. Same with the uh, Hulk pop. Some people were upset that the thing isn't um, six inches, but they are going to make a 10 inch thing, which I saw the comments and everyone is like, why don't you make Galactus 10 inches, which I would say would be more accurate, but what can you do? They only make 10 inches of the most popular characters, but I wanted this thing the more. I just like the trench coat and hat look a lot more and... The paint on mine looks really good, like, the paint is kind of faded on the hands, but I think it works with, like, the rock look of his body. The, uh, the hat looks pretty alright, no visible paint jobs that I can see. The face looks pretty good. My small nitpick is there's a huge glob of paint right here, so it really looks like lipstick almost. You, you could see it too, but it just looks a little like lipstick to me. But aside from that, really glad that I could find this thing because I wanted Human Torch, the Hot Topic one, the most. But this was a second, and I'm so glad that I found one because he just looks really cool with the trench coat, the hat, that angry look, the fist. Without, and then, again, with how big he is, despite being a three-inch pop, super glad that I got this and I'm super glad with all the finds that I got today. So these are my finds for today. Again, really happy with what I got. Most of these were on discount. Um, the Thing, Hulk, and the Common Human Torch weren't discount, but the other four were. So great shopping day. Great to find some ones that I really wanted, like The Thing, The Hulk, and even uh, the human torches, like everything is kind of what kind of what I wanted. I mean, Pusheen was a last minute grab, but it just looked so cute that I had to have it. And so glad that I got most of these at a pretty good price. Just so happy to have all these, mostly a Marvel day, a couple other properties, but mostly a really good hunting day. So Thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Also, comment down below which one of these pops you'd like the most. Consider subscribing for more unboxings as well as other content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.